a receding demonstration coordinated by Kelleher's Feeds Tralee and Chagas Kerry, showed six different machines for reseeding belonging to local farmers and contractors. The demonstration of the various machines was on the farm of Michael Foley, just outside Clarney, County Kerry. As well as the receding machines, there were a number of machines belonging to local farmers and contractors that can be used when preparing a field for reseeding. At the start of the walk, John Lynch and Oliver McGrath from Chagas outlined the plan for the day. Chagas specialist Ger Courtney and Karen Duclo explained that soil fertility is important to get right if reseeding, and the basics you need to get right when doing the job. Dave Barry from Goldcrop then explained the differences between the various grass varieties. John Lynch and Dave then took the 200 farmers present out into the fields to look at the various machines for reseeding. There were a number of mint-till reseeding machines in action, and because ground was very dry and hard, some were struggling to make any impact on the hard ground. The first was a machine called a Moore Uni Drill, operated by contractor Donald Brown. Essentially, the drill cuts a slit, drops the seed under air pressure, and then the seed is pressed in using the rollers at the back of the machine. Many will run a machine like this twice across the field. Setting depth is important, a half an inch down is ideal. The second machine in action was a Vredo overseeder, brought to the demo by Lynch and McCarthy. Similar to the more uni drill in operation, ideally you don't want space between the rows. The third machine in action was an APV overseeder or grass harrow with no cutters, brought to the demo by farmhand and Don Holland Jolie. This machine is ideal if overseeding into an existing sward. Tines cultivate the soil, but you must come in after and roll. The fourth machine on display was a power harrow with cedar combination, a Pottinger power harrow that had an APV grass seed box. Usually two runs and the, and the seed is sown on the second run. Slower than the other machines and more normally used after the plough of the disc. Mike Barrett from Arda in County Limerick had a gutler sewing machine. This gutler had a dual action ripper board which offers a levelling action in ploughed fields and an aggressive tine action when direct seeding. This is followed by two rows of thick sprung tines. Once the tines have passed the seed is sown by broadcasting the seed low to the ground so as to minimise seed movement. It is then rolled in using the gutler ring roller. Donald Casey from Fireys had a carry prairie combi grass harrow. The carry can be used for slitting, levelling, scarifying, plus seeding as an option. There are lots of adjustments on each element so it can be very aggressive if needed, creating a good tilt for successful overseeding. There were four other land preparation machines on display. Jo John O'Connor had a section ploughed and then John Foley from Killarney was working a Samco land leveller. Dave Barry described land levelling as probably essential if you want to remove air pockets and humps and hollows from ploughed ground. Heavy discs are a very popular cultivation method instead of ploughing to cut up the top 3 to 4 inches of the field. It might take 2 to 3 runs of the discs to get the topsoil into good shape. This is normally followed by a power harrow and seed box combination which sows the seeds on the first pass. Kieran O'Shea from Beaufort had a set of tines on display similar to those used by the Einbach machine. Also on the day there was an all strong aerator in action. This 8 foot roller and aerator combination weighs in empty at 2.7 tonnes and up to 4.7 tonnes when full of water. You need a tractor over 100 horsepower to pull it but it can be used on grassland or ploughed ground and the toughened teeth dig into the grassland leaving a slit 4 to 5 inches deep. Overall the event was a very informative demonstration well organised with plenty of good information on offer.